guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a thrift haul, but it is not from Goodwill and it is not from Salvation Army. It is an estate sale thrift haul. Uh, the estate sale was held by uh, Mario, Michael, and Anna. And I always love going to their sales. I always find great stuff at really great prices. So uh, shout out to Mario, Anna, Michael, and friends. <laughs> so guys, I really got some great, great stuff. I'm very excited about this thrift haul. Um, I got some, I got one item in particular I kind of had a feeling it might be worth something, um, but wasn't quite sure how much because I didn't look it up when I was there. Uh, so I was quite uh, happy when I did look it up. So I will show you that very soon. I spent a total of 200, I think it was $217. It was a one day only sale. I went in the morning um, and they were going to, um, after lunch, they were closing up for lunch. And then when they reopened, everything was going to be half price. But I couldn't go back in the afternoon because I had to go babysit Winnie. So I had to buy what I wanted to get, you know, at the regular price. But that's okay. Because on one item, I will make back probably over half of what I spent. <laughs> I know you guys are dying to see what it is, but I'm going to make you wait. I am going to make you wait. So let's get into this awesome thrift haul. I'm going to start with the boring stuff first, which is useful items. But I always love picking up useful items at an estate sale. So I did get um, a brand new razor for myself. <laughs> And a box of Kleenex. I got myself a new, um, I love these dish rat. Oh, two dish cloths. Brand new, new old stock. Look at that. 23 cents. How old is this? <laughs> and then I got myself a bag of nice uh, big jumbo cotton balls. I can't stand when you buy a bag of cotton balls and they're like this big, okay? What the hell are you going to do with a cotton ball that big? It's like the size of a Q-tip. So, <laughs> anyways. Um, oh, and I also got, I'm just going to reach over here and grab one. Three boxes of Barilla Rigatonis. Rigatonis, yes. Three boxes. They were uh, 50 cents a box. That beats uh, $3 a box, you know? So, useful things. Love to find them at estate sales. All right. Um, let, me, let me do these. I just really liked these jars. Um, they would be great in a bathroom. This one had bubble bath in it at some point. Hold on, let me, there we go. Some kind of bubble bath. I just love these like apothecary jars, whatever you want to call them. I mean, you could use them for anything, anywhere. So I did pick these up. Um, I thought I might do something with them, but I don't know yet. I'm not quite sure. So let me, pardon my head and me knocking the camera because I have so much stuff that I had to set up my second table to hold stuff, so, yeah. All right, I did get some tins. Now, this one is, um, is an older tin. This is Whitman's Prestige Chocolates. And this is a pretty cool tin. I thought this was awesome. I don't buy a whole lot of tins, but I really did like this one. It's got, like, some schmutz in there that I got to dump out but um it's a pretty cool tin so i did pick that up oh my word um i also got this one just because i thought it was really pretty 
Um, it's not marked, so I don't know where it, the world. Oh, Thorns Premier Toffee from Leeds, England. But look how pretty that is. Wouldn't that be pretty on a dresser or whatever to hold, you know, jewelry or you could use it for buttons or anything. I just thought it was very pretty. I don't know how old it is. I'm sure it's on the older side, but it's not old, old. So I picked that one up. And then I picked this one up because I thought this was pretty as well. This is, um, the name of the picture on it is The Age of Innocence. And this is also Thorne's Premier Toffee. So it's got this beautiful girl on there on the lid. And then it's got this beautiful pattern. Isn't that, I love that. There's the thorns. And there's the inside. So yeah, like I said, I don't normally pick tins up unless I think they're they look they're pretty, you know, and they're older. And so when I do find them at a good price, I will pick them up. And part of me, there's a thing up on my screen that's gonna drive me nuts. All right. I did get this really cool um ashtray. It's from Florida, and it was made in Japan. And it's this fish. I just really thought it was neat. I loved the way the colors, how they did the colors and stuff on there. And then it still has the sticker on the bottom there. So, yeah. So I got this guy. I got a set of gas candles. Now, they didn't have a box. These were outside um, in all the boxes and stuff. And I'm trying to figure out how the heck you, um, how the heck you open these up. Oh, there's a screw on the bottom. Okay, I see. Um, but it says Japan. Come on, show. There we go. <laughs> so I did pick these up. These are pretty cool. Um, I found this, um, this is, uh, Pyrex, um, Spring Daisy, or I think that's what it's called, Spring Daisy Pyrex, uh, the butter dish. And usually when you find these, they're missing the lid. So I was like, oh, look at that. We got the lid. So I picked this up. Uh, I got another ashtray. This is Anchor Hawking. This is Lido Sereno. And it's the beautiful honey colored ashtray. It's in perfect condition. There's no chips or anything on it. I usually do well with the vintage ashtrays. Um, I've sold several of these in all kinds of colors. I've had olive green, this color, pink. You don't see pink very often. Uh, the pink ones I sold on eBay. So I pick these up whenever I do find them. Uh, I got these. These are awesome. They still have their sticker. These are Lefton. A set of roosters. Look at these guys. Heck yeah. No cracks or chips, guys. And look at, there is like minuscule paint loss on the red. Like these are in immaculate condition. Heck yeah. Yeah, these will be an offer up for sure in a live sale. So I thought these were fantastic. I'll try to show them to you one at a time. Uh, where to put things? I don't know. My mailman. Getting my packages. 
All right. The next item I got is this awesome, <clears throat> excuse me, Fiesta Ware Sugar Bowl. Now, it does have a little boo-boo, but it could be touched up. See? Little teeny boo-boo on the bottom. Could be touched up very easily with some watercolors. Um, that's the only issue that it has. And you can see very lightly on the bottom where it says Fiesta. So, um, I did find a little, um, she looks like a Joseph original, but she's not marked. So I don't know. Look at her. Isn't she adorable? She's a little bell. Oh, she's so cute. So I got her and I got, this is um, Gift Craft, made in Japan. Um, this is a May Angel. She's gorgeous and she's in perfect condition. Perfect. And here is her original label. She's a beauty. Then I got this. Oh, I got to make sure that I write that down. I got this beautiful kitchen Madonna. You hang it up on your wall. I took it right off the wall. It was, it was still up on the wall. I said, oh, let me get that. <laughs> so I got that. It's not marked. I don't know who makes it. Speaking of Madonna, I got this gorgeous Hager Madonna, still with its original sticker. She's beautiful. Now, she's got a black mark on her nose. I'm going to have to see if I can get that off. Look at now, I have looked this particular one up on eBay, and I wasn't able to find this exact one. I did find one in the same design, but it had, like, gold on it and stuff like that. So, um, I wasn't able, I mean, most of them, the Hager Madonnas sell for about $18. But as I said, I was not able to find this one exactly like this. So I'm I'm really not sure, but look, there is her original sticker. And of course, oh, I just dumped dirt out everywhere. Ew. <laughs> Royal Hager. So yes, I picked her up. She's be see how she's got this black spot on her nose? I gotta see if I could get that off with a magic eraser. Uh, okay, I can put her over there. Well, this is gross. I have dirt in a dust ball all over my table. Let me just put it over there. <laughs> okay. Then I got this awesome vintage Isa, Isa Mate, Isomate. Yes. I wish I could find it in turquoise because I know the turquoise sells for a lot more money. But I always find it in white or yellow. But yeah, so this is awesome. And I actually tried this um, when I had had it before and it, they work great. Um, you can hang them on the wall as well, you know. But yeah, so yep, I got that. Great if you have a bar in your house. This would be awesome. Okay, now for some vintage Christmas. Not a lot, just a few things. So, <laughs> these will all be offer-ups. OMG, I sold a set of these before. I think my girl Cheryl bought them. 
Look at how cute they are. <laughs> Look how cute. I love them. Love them. So I got those. You know how I love my Plastastic Christmas stuff. Plastastic. Poodle, be still your heart. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I love this. Yes. Doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. Then I got these. Some people will say those are kind of scary, but I got them anyways. They're very cool. Um, they're, they look like they were handmade by someone and I do have to glue, uh, Santa's beard over here, but we got Santa. Let me see there. There he is. Uh, he must've had too much to drink cause he's out cold and so did Mrs. Claus. <laughs> Oh dear, but how stinking cute are these? <laughs> yes. Oh, I could not resist. I could not resist. She kind of looks like me. <laughs> okay, clown alert, everyone. This is an old Japan piece. Created by Earl Bernard. I got to look this guy up. He's the only one I did not look up. And he is flexible. Holy shizzle. I know Vintage Vinny's dad, if he saw this right now, he would not be a happy camper because he does not like clowns. But, um, yeah, he, he bends. Look. Yeah. Now, his nose, the stuffing is coming out. Um, the, the material has come off his nose because he is so old, but I'm going to look this guy up and um, see if I can find him. But here is his original tag. Earl Bernard. Whoops. Um, and then he has his Japan sticker on his foot. So I will be looking this guy up. He's awesome. He He's, yeah, he'll definitely be an offer up. I got to clean him up because he's just full of lint and I got to take my lint roller to him. And his wire is popping out of his shoe. See that? Um, I'm wondering if I could pound that back in. We'll see. But he's he was very cool, so I had to grab him. All right. Now, I did get this awesome blue cornflower corningware casserole. Now, this one is called Pyroware. And um, it's in good shape. I got to wash it up and everything. Um, but yeah, these, these are all over the place on eBay as far as the selling prices. They go anywhere from... $25 to $45. Um, yeah, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to price this or if I'm going to do it in a live sale as an offer up or put it on eBay. I'm, I'm really not sure. But let me, it's a 10 inch casserole. There are no uh, cracks or chips, but as I said, I do have to clean it up. Um, it, it is dirty, 
and it has it has been used it has been used uh you can see that there's like a loss of shine here but yeah i mean it's it's still in fantastic condition uh i believe it's from the 50s if i'm not mistaken so we'll see let me show you the bottom So, very cool piece. You don't you don't normally find them with this type of lid. They're, the lids are usually clear, clear glass. So that was a nice find. All right. Speaking of corningware, now um, I did purchase this. And I do know that there are certain ones that were recalled. And this is one of the ones that was recalled because it, because I looked up the model number on it. And this is a recalled one. But if you're just going to have it, um, if you collect blue flower corningware and you're just going to, uh, you know, use it as a decor piece, fine. But I would not actually use it and I'll tell you why. So this is the electric um, percolator. Here's the cord. Um, Anna said I couldn't find the cord for it, but the cord was actually wrapped up inside the basket because I, I was like, oh, I might have a cord for it. And I ended up not having the cord. But when I brought it out to try to clean it up and I opened it, I found the cord inside. So that was a plus. But um, yes, yeah, so this is, apparently they say that this uh, metal band um, can come loose and, and come off. That is why they were, they were recalled. And yes, this is the, e, the E1210 is the one that was recalled. Now, they did, I guess, fix the problem. If you should find one of these E1210 ones with a number etched over here on this silver band to the right of the handle, then it's then it's okay. It's okay to to um to sell as a usable coffee pot. But this one does not have the etched number. So I would be selling this only as a decor item. And they sell, they sell for like, I, I, I thought I looked it up. I think they sell for between $30 and $50. It could be more. I can't remember exactly. But, uh, but if you have one that is um, the recalled one, you can't sell them on eBay, you know, or any other platform that I know of. I, I like eBay, Etsy, um, you know, so I know eBay won't let you sell it if it's a recalled one. All right. So let me move this over here because I'm not showing that till last. Okay. I got this, guys. This is amazing. And it works. I'm going to plug it in and show you. Hold on a second. Got to get at my plug here. So I think the one of the things that I, I didn't get a chance to listen to the whole show, but I don't think I heard you mention that in New York City, not too long ago, they were trying to pass a law where residents who were not citizens could vote. And... Uh, a lot of liberal uh, states and, and it's got a little wear on the top. A lot, you know, they contribute to our society, to our taxes, so we shouldn't maybe be able to vote for a politician. So I want to bring something to your oh, attention. Oh, MG, you, guys! Uh, almost no Let me show you the back. In your, um, in your radio station notes. So a few years ago, um, is this not amazing? Whoops. Now, um, 
there is the off switch. That's the volume. I don't know how you shut it off. This is the volume. This is the tuning button. I don't believe there's an off switch. I think you just have to unplug it. Okay, that's all I can figure. But what a fantastic item. Oh my goodness. I, I just absolutely love this. Um, these sell on eBay. I did look it up. And I, I looked it up at the sale, and I can't really remember. I'll, I'll insert it in here for you. But, yeah, it's what a fantastic item. Holy cow. I was like, I kept, I kept you know... Looking at it, and I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. And I ended up biting the bullet and buying it, so. Okay, now back to boring. I just got a cutting board <laughs> that I'll do something with. Uh, I'll probably end up maybe filling in the hole and maybe making a sign or something out of it. I'm not sure yet. All right, so... Uh, it's kind of hard to beat the the uh, radio, but I did get uh, this beautiful vintage scarf. It's beautiful. Look at this. You could also use it as a runner on a table if you wanted to, but look how pretty that is. I absolutely loved it. So I got that and I got a vintage bag. Um, I can remember my mom and my grandma carrying something like this with the plastic like tortoise shell handles. Isn't this awesome? I love the design and the colors on this. How cool would this be for fall? Oh my gosh, I love it. It's nice and clean. It's like pleather or whatever on the inside. That's awesome. I love this. Oh, and it's got snaps. So you could snap it. Let me see. I thought I saw snaps on there somewhere. You can snap it and carry it like this too. How cute is that? Awesome. All right. Got two amazing Afghans. My buddy Tiger. Look at it's Poiple. Oh boy, these are beautiful Afghans. They're they're pretty decent size. So I got one in purple. And look at this one in the fall colors. How cool is this? These are in beautiful condition. Beautiful condition, guys. Ugh. All right. Now, I'm going to have to put these over here because... I have to be able to get at the stuff over here on the table. No, I'm not done yet. <laughs> All right. So, I've got a red rotary phone. Got the, the plug and all that stuff. Look at that. It's in fantastic condition. That's just a sticker residue. Um, I don't know what brand it is because it, oh, this is a Bell, Bell System property, Western Electric. 
I can double, I mean, I, I can make double what I spent on it. So I did pick that up. Um, I have to look this up as well. This is, this is an impeccable condition. Look at this coffee pot. Universal is the name. Electric coffee pot. I love the shape and the design of this pot. This is gorgeous. Look at that handle. Wow. What a beautiful coffee pot. And everything is here. Oopsie. <laughs> Um, I do have to clean it because it's kind of grody in there. I definitely have to clean it. I'm going to have to ask Scott how to clean it. But, um, yeah, this is an amazing coffee pot. Absolutely awesome. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. All right, then I got this Sunbeam Electric Skillet. This is in fantastic condition, guys. The cord is right here. And I do have to um, try to clean up the inside there. I think a Brillo pad should take that out. Um, but you know, I'll, I'll get all this. I'll try to clean all of that. These sell for uh, between 25 and $50, um, on eBay. So this will probably go on eBay. Um, great, great item. So guys, if you find these at estate sales and stuff, the thrift store, they do sell for really good money. I mean, if even if you bought it at um, at Goodwill for like three dollars, and you could sell it for thirty, that's a good profit. You know what I'm saying? So always pick them up. And this one's got the little uh, vent on the top, and this is the nice domed lid. So yes. So I did get that. Okay, so I did mention uh, before how much I love Lennox Christmas stuff. And I did pick this up for myself. It is this Lennox Snowman. He's so cute. I'll take him out and show you because they didn't have him wrapped in um, paper or anything. Merry Musicals. Oh, he's music. I did not even know that, guys. Hold on. How awesome is that? Oh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. He was $6. I don't know how much he sells for online, but I love him. I love the Lennox Snowman. So, yes. So, that's for me. That is for me. I got to wrap him in some uh, tissue paper. I mean, uh, bubble wrap. Put him back in here. Um, come on now, get in there. There we go. Okay. Anywho, I got two, three more things to show you guys. I did pick up this toolbox and I am going to be upcycling it. It does got junk inside. I didn't really want the stuff on the inside, but it's a, a Union steel chest.
Oh, there's all kinds of goodies in here. Just screws and all that kind of stuff. So, yes. So this is going to be an upcycle project. So I got that. Ugh. I picked up this vintage um, nativity. I'm just pulling all of the figures over here so I can show them to you. They're all here, even baby Jesus. But his, his little cradle is having issues. Um, but I'll show you. All right, so first let me show you the actual crush. So this is the, the crash. This, I don't know what the purpose is of that, I guess for storage. Um, now it is not marked where it was made. I have no idea, but I have a feeling it could be Germany. Um, there's nothing on the bottom either. So there is that. And now I will show you all of the pieces. So we have, and these, yes, West Germany, West Germany, I was correct. I know it's hard to see on there, but, so we have Mary and we have Joseph. And for the most part, these figures are in fantastic condition for their age. I mean, there are little bits of paint missing on them, but they're really in fantastic shape. So we have Mary and uh, Joseph. This is baby Jesus. And this is his little um, cradle. And then there was this piece. And I'm this was glued on here somehow. Um, I think it goes like this. Just like that. So I have to glue this back in here. Which I will take care of. Um, then we have wise man number one. Number two. Number three. Then we have the shepherd, and we have his two other sheep. We've got an oxen, I guess, a camel, and a donkey. And I mean, these are in fantastic condition, guys. So, yeah. So, this will definitely be um, an offer-up item in an upcoming sale. Uh, fantastic condition, as far as I'm concerned, for its age. So, And then I got this as well. I got this little plastic nativity. This is uh, made in Hong Kong. All right, so the last item I'm going to show you is the one that I looked up and was pleasantly surprised to see what they actually sell for. This is a Corning Ware Starburst teapot, not teapot, coffee pot. It's a six cup coffee pot. Everything is here. I got to clean it. There's dust bunnies on the inside, so I got to clean it. Hopefully, I can get all of that schmutz out of there. Um, this coffee pot sells online on eBay, and this is the eBay solds between $100 and $150. Mm-hmm. 
You can pick your job up now. <laughs> yes, between a hundred and a hundred and fifty dollars. So let's hope I can get it nice and clean because this will be going up on eBay. Yes. So that was my best find at this estate sale. Absolutely. But I did find some really great items that I can list on eBay uh, because my eBay store is uh, sourly lacking. So I need to get back into listing some stuff on my eBay. So this will definitely help out. Well, guys, that's everything for $217. Yes. I hope you enjoyed this estate sale thrift haul video. If you did, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell. Yes. What can you lose, right? It's free. And don't forget to comment down below and share my video with someone that you know enjoys uh, thrift haul videos. And on that note, guys, I'm going to get going. I got a lot to do today on my day off. So you take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.